Hey guys, what's up? As y'all know, they um, released iOS 5 Beta 4 yesterday for developers. So I downloaded it and I'm running Beta 4. And I want to show y'all other new features. Now, this first two things that I'm going to show y'all came in Beta 3, but in my last video, I forgot to show y'all it. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. Okay, the first two things I'm going to talk about is you can now download more than one app at a time, and you can now delete apps while they're downloaded. So, I'm going to go ahead and download that, and then go back, and download this. And since I'm running the beta firmware, it's going to be kind of laggy. And see, that's downloading, and that's downloading. See, they're downloading at the same time. And you can now delete the apps while they're downloading. See, just hold down it like you would do the any other app. And see, there's the X button. Click it, and click delete. I'm going to delete these and that okay and now they came out with wireless syncing for PC they came out with wireless syncing in beta 2 for Mac but now they have it for PC so see you go to general iTunes Wi-Fi sync Well, come on. Where's iTunes? Maybe I gotta open iTunes also. Well, usually it's supposed to find my device whenever it's not even plugged in. So, ah, there it is. Now it came up. So see, it says automatically sync with iTunes on your computer when your iPod does is plugged into power and connected to Wi-Fi. And see, it's not plugged in anywhere. In fact, there's my cord way over there. So, and see, look, it even found my device. So see, and see on version, it says connect this iPod to using a USB cable in order to update or restore it. It's software. So see, you can't do that. See, you won't be able to restore your software without being plugged in yet. And maybe they'll do this later on. But see, first you open up iTunes, and you gotta get iTunes 10.5 Beta 4. And then, see, sync over Wi-Fi connection. And just check that, and then click Apply. And then, see, it, it will even find your iPod Touch while it's not even plugged in. So, see, now you go over here, click Sync Now. See, Sync It. See, start in sync. Waiting for sync to start. Preparing to sync. And see, even on here. And see, no chord. And like I said, this is still the beta version, so it's going to be kind of laggy. And see, once it feels the sinking, sinking, don't 
don't know why I said singing. And see, you can even get off and go to something else on your iPod Touch and they'll still be singing. see and it's finished syncing now the next thing is the software update you can now update your iPod touch or iPhone whenever um on iOS 5 beta 4 and see iOS 5.0 your software is up to date so see, last time I said that it could contact the um, services, but now it comes up that. And if you have iOS 5 Beta 3 and you want to download Beta 4, then you can just go to Software Update and click Update and it'll work. Okay. And I read on the internet, well, um, you know how every... Um, Software update is like 700 or 800 megabytes. Well now, after they come out with all the betas, I don't know if this is going to be the same for beta 5, but they're going to reduce the size to like 100 megabytes to 200. So there's not going to be no more 800 megabytes and crap. And, ah. And this right here. I bet y'all been hearing about iPod Touch's 5th generation might receive 3G connectivity. This right here proves it. If you go to Settings, iCloud, go to Documents and Data, right here, Use Cellular, On or Off. Sorry guys. When not connected to Wi-Fi, use Cellular network to transfer documents and data that sentence right there proves that there will be a 3G iPod touch coming out so thank y'all for watching and that's all the changes that they have right now so thank y'all for watching and subscribe and I'll be making more videos about upcoming news so thank y'all for watching